Hello everyone. Uh, now I will show you how to create a um, KPA formula in PRS. You can customize the formula. But the thing is that you need to actually know what's the equation or the formula for that KPI you want to make. So you need to know the counter's name or the counter number or counter IDs also. So firstly you have to go to report. Then you need to go to KPI management. So it's very important that you know and the counters you are going to pick or you the KPI you want to make is it from the RNC KPI or BTS KPI or BSC KPI and the formula and the counters all will be picked up and made on that you know folders you will see in those in the left side there are some folders and the counters that is picked and the the formula you will be making under that folder so suppose i am keep making a formula for 2g mpd okay so i will go in 2g bsc folder okay uh, i know already that the the counters that i will be using to make the mpd formula is already activated okay so after that i will click on new a new tab will be open uh, which i can rename so like i will give the name 2g underscore mpd okay so the kpa type is normal because it's a normal kpa it's not a pre-aggregated kpa or conditional kpa it's a normal kpa so we will keep it that way and the any type is 2gpsc and object type is gcell so it, it will be a cell level uh, formula uh, one thing i want to mention that it's very important whenever you try to make any formula try to make uh, it in the uh, lower level like not uh, you don't uh, pick the object type as bsc try to be a cell because if you keep the formula in the lower entity you can always go you can always get the data from the bsc also but if you make the formula as bsc you cannot you cannot fetch as cell data so try to always to keep the make the formula as cell level so then you can also get the uh, data from the bsc level also whenever you want okay uh, next is the function subtype uh, subset so it's not a very important thing uh, is that in which folder you want to make uh, the kpi like usually whenever we customize in kpi we keep it in uh, kpi measurement folder so now also we can go to the kpi measurement folder and we can keep the the 2g mpd formula in KPI measurement for our uh, folder also so we have selected KPI measurement and here is the data type uh, means uh, you want to uh, show the value in float or integer so you can select from that let's keep it float and like mpd has no unit so we will keep it none but whenever you are making any um, counters like for throughput you can keep it in like mbps or kbps or bit per second or maybe in tra voice traffic like arlang something like that or maybe in some signal level like in dbm so you can pick from the drop drop menu now we'll go to the formula so we click on new formula and here is the formula box and you will see in the below there all the kpas will be uh, shown and from here you have to um, uh, bring the counters in here to make the formula or you need to type the formula as a whole okay so as i know all already the counters to make the mpd formula so we will write K3014 this is the traffic counter here's the K3014 so we double click on it and it's already here 
and another counter is seam 33 so we click enter and we bring it on top seam 33 Now uh, the formula is K301 for multiplied by 60 divided by sim 33. So we have to make the formula as K301 for multiplied by 60 divided by uh, sim 33. So as this is the denominator so denominator so we have to give a bracket here you will see whenever there is a incorrect formula red mark will be shown or whenever you keep um whenever you click on ok it will pop up a new window that so i am mentioning that the formula is incorrect suppose now i'm clicking ok you will see a uh, new uh, error message will pop up so this is, it's a good sign then there is a mistake in your formula you can correct it so let's correct it so we have given a close uh, bracket here and we will give a opening bracket so now you see it's a blue thing so that means it's okay another important thing is whenever you are giving a constant um, value better to give a second bracket here in the constant value suppose um, you are making a um, percentage or something like that you multiply by 100 so you keep the 100 in the second bracket it's recommended but uh, it's not an incorrect formula but it's better to keep it that like that way so and another one uh, we give a bracket here although this is not mandatory but we can keep it so now we click ok ok the formula is taken so after uh, we click ok uh, this KPA will be uploaded and you can see you will uh, you will be able to see the formula in the KPA analysis uh, tab and you can uh, like if if you are creating this uh, counters right now, I mean that counters are enabled right now. Maybe you will be able to see the KP after one hour. But if the counters are already pre-activated, then you will be able to see the KPs directly from right now. So if I click OK, the counter will be saved. So after that, you can anytime you can fetch any cell level B, cell level data of 2 GMPD anytime. So that's 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 the end. Okay, thank you very much.